It's mission 19 of my squadron campaign. It's the penultimate mission of this campaign and I'm going to target the Reichstag in Berlin which is actually a low priority target because it's used for both military and civilian purposes. We'll do our best to minimize civilian casualties but I'm going to hit this target. We'll head out of Ridgewell to the east, cross over the Netherlands. All of this land is now occupied by allied forces not many German defences until we reach Magdeburg, which is where my decision point is going to be. And then from there we'll go on to Berlin. I've got the primary target selected, the Reichstag, and a secondary should we need it, which is the Kriegsmarine HQ. Once the bomb drops done, we'll do a tight left turn away from Berlin and head back home. take a look at the recon of the Reichstag. There are other targets in the area. We can see one in the bottom left part of the screen now, but the Reichstag is in the center. It's quite a small target and it shouldn't matter too much which direction we approach from to do the bomb drop. Here's the mission summary. It's the 20th of April 1945. We're going downtown to hit the Reichstag taken a couple of blockbusters in each plane. Just over 1400 miles round trip. Let's see how this mission goes. We joined the mission at 10.25 hours. We're at 27,600 feet. Cruising across Germany towards our decision point at Magdeburg. This is the Memphis Bell leading the squadron today. Here's our position on the map. Our decision point is set at 28,000 feet. And then the initial point is set down at 20,000 feet. But there's a big flak field over Berlin. When I get to the start of the flak field here, I'll drop the initial point down so that we're descending as we head towards it. We have a flight of 109s inbound. Not having much luck shooting down these bandits, but there's a collision. I think one's just flown into an escort fighter. We have actually gone past the decision point, so let's get the weather report. Weather at primary target is believed to be fair with three tenths of clouds and a mark level of 5,000 feet. Weather report was good. We just need to shake off these 109s. The 109s have disengaged now and we're about to hit the flak fields around Berlin. I'm going to drop the initial point down to about 15,000 feet. That will take us underneath the flak as we're coming in towards target. We should be hitting the flak anytime soon. Hopefully we'll be going underneath it for most of the way to the target until we hit the initial point and go wings level and then we'll be at the mercy of the flak.
now reached the initial point, it's time to go on the bomb run. Quite tricky to figure out what the drift is when there's this much flak going off. I'm pushing the plane around. The plane seems to be a bit more steady now and I'm getting about maybe plus two degrees of drift. Bombardier has got an offset of minus 0.1 so I'm going to reduce that just go to minus 1 and see how that goes and there is the Reichstag building some of the crew are taking hits from the flag site is holding quite steady so I think we've got the drift offset right good visibility at the moment there's a little bit of cloud up ahead but I should be fine just need to hold steady now in the flak Bombs are about to go out. There we go, 12,000 pounds of TNT heading for the Reichstag. And here it is, a really nice job done by the devs to make this asset in the game. And there go the bombs, boom. Interesting that the site doesn't get completely wiped out. Still got the steps and the columns there and the outside walls. But the roof and inside of the Reichstag has been completely destroyed. It's job done here. Time to turn away from Berlin and head back home. Memphis Bell has taken a bit of a beating from the flak. It's got a lot of damage on its tail and the left wing. But there are no fuel leaks. We should be good to fly back to base. Almost three hours later, we've made it back to Ridgewell. All of the planes in my squadron are still flying. Let's get down and land the planes. Orbit and wait for landing clearance. The planes are coming into land. This one has an engine stopped and it's taking a strange line into the runway. Big left turn, it just grazes the grass with the left wing and I think he landed that plane on one wheel. So well done this pilot. Obviously some kind of problem with the plane because he can't keep it on the runway and he's veered off into the grass but he's down safely. Time for the Memphis Bell to land. I'm just going to leave the 
AI pilot to land the plane. He's done a good job. Lined it up nicely. And a great touchdown. Okay, let's get the debrief on this mission. The 20th of April 1945. The penultimate mission in this campaign. We attacked the primary target flew 1487 miles didn't shoot down any of those 109s we did totally destroy the target quite a few injured crew on this mission the flak over berlin was relentless and took its toll some of these guys here have just got light wounds but there are a few medium wounds and quite a lot of severe wounds on this second page Good news for these guys though, they can now go home for good. Here's the bomb damage assessment, there was just the one building to go for and we managed to get our bombs nicely on target. Just a couple of purple hearts handed out to the injured crew on this mission. Join me next time for the final mission of this campaign. Thanks for watching.